be too epic guys, pun intended. You guys know both Fatality and Cliffy B. Now I'm gonna let you drive this one here because you know you guys are buddies, you guys go way back. So we're way gonna back. talk we're gonna talk games, right? Go ahead. Uh, well, uh, Cliff, you've uh, obviously been gaming for a long time. Uh, I've always been a big fan of your games. I've played Unaltimate 2003, uh, which was an awesome game. Thanks, Honestly, man. Uh, 2004 Onslaught was yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's when we had the vehicles finally. Yeah, that was cool. Yep. But uh, what are you working on right now and what's exciting that I can be uh, looking forward to play? It's really, really tricky right now because we have uh, multiple unannounced projects yeah. that I can't say too much about. But there's some obvious ones that people are probably going to expect that you'll be hearing about sometime when the weather gets warm. And there's also some super secret ones that, uh, you know, I'm personally, what I can tell you is I'm a fan of new worlds and yeah. new IPs. Like, you know, back when we were working on Unreal Tournament, it was our, our bread and butter and our baby. But I'm like, guys, you know, we should try and create something brand new, right? Yeah, and yeah. from that came Gears of War, which has obviously been a huge success for us. Yep. So as I get up in the morning and I go to work, the one thing I want to do is create new worlds. So hopefully you'll be seeing some soon. All right, cool. I think I'll be interested in playing a new world game. Yeah, and you uh, know, the Unreal Unreal's actually uh, Unreal's in the back burner right now for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's primarily our engine is being driven, and uh, we're, we're not working on a new Unreal tournament at this point. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I've, even with their Gears of War, I mean, it's been a huge success, but I mean, I'm also a big fan. Me, my friends always play, and I've actually hopped on and played with them and so forth. And I actually kind of like the game because there actually is skill in the game of how you enter the fight. Yeah. In a sense, like, you want to get the first shot in, but it's not life or death in that one situation. You actually, but I like the rocket launcher. I think it's a great gun and using different weapons, but obviously the saw and all the different options you can do is it's, pretty cool. It's so funny, man, because when you see the hardcore gamers online, uh, you know, we, we try to build a game as this kind of, you know, stop and pop tactical shooter, but ultimately what the game devolved to online is everybody rolling around shotgunning each other, yeah. right? And this is this classic thing where you, you build a game a certain way, and once the gamer is taken on, it takes a life of its own, becomes its own thing, so... You know, when in doubt, just go with it and let them let the gamers want, take what they want, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, the shotgun's awesome because it's it obviously you get the most graphical effect of the guy exploding. It's the for, <laughs> for the for the gamer who wants to get rid of the guy, he wants to kill him in the, the fastest way humanly possible. He doesn't care about knocking him down and doing the fancy animations. He wants to turn him into itty bitty bits of pulp and move on to the next guy. You know, I like curb stopping though. I think that's cool. It, it is fun. It's it's one of those things that um you know stepping on somebody's head pretty much never gets old. <laughs> and uh, chainsawing in half, and it's also weird about the chainsaws. A lot of players consider it like a new weapon yeah but I mean if you're coming you're coming at somebody and you shoot them you get interrupted and if you chainsaw somebody it locks you down for a few seconds so there's a, a risk there yeah but this is the more advanced uh, tactics of you know most people don't even know this when they enter the game they have to play it for you know a month or so to understand okay yeah. I can interrupt that chainsaw and now I can shoot you the shotgun whatever you do yeah of course it's I mean learn technique as with any game you know chess or go it's the whole easy to learn takes a lifetime to master right yeah, yeah. and you know once you can eventually go pro and kick everybody's ass like you normally do let's do that absolutely all right so you mentioned a couple super super secretive stuff Stuff. Was there any possibility we could beat it out of you? Uh, well, I can tease in a few things. Uh, we are working with People Can Fly, who did the game Painkiller, which you're familiar with, which was this crazy over-the-top first-person awesome. shooter. These guys, uh, People Can Fly, they, they're known for their crazy over-the-top style, right? Mm -hmm. So if they're working on something with us, you could infer that it might be similar in that vein, and it might be announced very soon. Right. Painkiller was an awesome game. I, I loved it. I thought it was one of the most skillful games I've ever played, but uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, you know Epic and uh, you know People Can Fly working together. It's, it's, be it's been a really, really crazy, fun partnership with them. And I mean, they, they were the guys who basically invented the idea of a stake gun, mm -hmm. where you have this like six-foot-long stake, and you could actually stick people into the walls with it, right? And it's awesome. But also the great thing I loved about that game was just that you could... Uh, the game was based on fighting. It wasn't so much like camping, running away, shooting a rail gun. Yeah. The stake gun was such a you know twenty percent hit weapon that you know you really can't guarantee it's going to hit fifty percent of the time like you could with a shock rifle. Yep. Uh, so it's a different type of gun. So actually, it actually interacted more combat, more. Uh, confronting the guy and getting a close combat fight which makes it more spectator friendly to like you know watch the game and see fighting happening it was more it was, it was very fast paced right definitely. it was very over the top and they also were very very good at making huge bosses they had those guys with the huge hammers oh, yeah. and everything like that so uh, you know you would assume those abilities are being brought forward into another project yeah, yeah.